Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining me for yet another shave. And, well, today is the day I'm going to be reviewing Fine's Fresh Vetiver. And this is my absolute favorite fragrance in the Fine line of soaps and splashes. And they make EDTs and bombs and such, but you get the picture. Um, there's still a few I haven't reviewed. The Lavender, the Snake Bite. I need to revisit Green Vetiver. There's a story about that will tell as I'm shaving, but... I was gonna kind of review all of them and then kind of have this series of videos culminating to the grand finale, which would reveal my absolute favorite, but there's those three soaps I don't own. Even though I have the lavender splash, I still don't have the soap, so that's on the bucket list. But this is my absolute favorite fragrance. Amazing scent. This is a duplication of Tom Ford's Gray Vetiver. It's been around forever. It's a mainstay in the fine line, and it is every bit as glorious as you think it is. And so um, I'll tell the story about the other vetiver soap um, as I'm shaving, but let's just kind of advance into the video here. Today's brush is going to be my Thader Boar brush. This was a gift from my wife and kids for Christmas. I don't know if you can see that. Thader makes exquisite brushes. They're a little bit expensive. It's about a $90 brush. Uh, it's expensive for a boar, but definitely one of the better boar knots I've used. Um, there's a story to that too. I'll tell as we move along. But yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday, I was actually going through and cleaning all of my badgers and boars and, um, you know, kind of got to revisit some of my brushes. Um, excited about the collection I have. Sometimes I have stuff that I forget that I have just because I have so much stuff. But with this puck of soap, because it's a lot smaller, I wanted to use a smaller knot. And these days, knots are getting bigger and bigger. I'm getting bigger knots. My average knot size is probably 26 millimeters these days. So with the tub of soap that, you know, Fine offers with their soaps, I needed a smaller knot and this kind of did the trick. And so, plus it's a nice brush. I love using it and I haven't used it in a while. So there it is. Gonna be using the Rockwell 6C in the gunmetal. This is on a plate two. It's kind of my wheelhouse. I love milder shaves and this has a Gillette Platinum. Really wanna have a comfortable shave today. I don't really want anything abrasive going on. So I went with this hardware software. So, and of course, you know, I'm gonna have Fresh Vetiver Splash. This is just an amazing fragrance. I can't tell you folks how much I love this fragrance. And it's nostalgic for me because Fine Splashes were one of the first uh, splash purchases I made when I first started wet shaving. Fine Platinum off of a Nick Shaves video, but fresh and clean vetiver. Uh, I'll tell you about clean in a minute. I kind of uh, got ahead of myself there, but this is an amazing fragrance. So if you haven't smelled it yet, pick it up. But this again is my absolute favorite in the fine line of soaps and fragrances. So there it is. All right, let's delve into this. Don't have a ton of growth today. Not what you're accustomed to seeing me present on a video. Usually by the time I make a video for the West Coast Shaving Daily Shave Series, I've got about four or five days of growth. Today I think I've got, I don't know, day and a half, maybe two days. So that's what it is. Let me get the soap. For those of you that haven't seen the fine tubs, this is what they look like. Very small, the puck is loose. It does move around in there until you actually hydrate it. And then the actual properties of the soap and water will cause it to stick to the tub. But um, it's not a very big area to lather from. And the badger brushes I have are so wide. I didn't want to kind of shove one in there. And, you know, I, the thing I love most about badger brushes, especially today's brushes, is they're so densely packed in comparison to their predecessors from previous years ago. And they have beautiful splays. That's one of the things I love about animal hair brushes. Synthetics, as you know, will always go back to form. Animal hair brushes, particularly badger, especially densely packed badger knots, have this beautiful bulbous splay and I love it. Presentation knot's pretty amazing. Badger feels exquisite and I've been happy as a clam these last few months as I finally figured out how to use a badger brush after, you know, four years. And a lot of that has to do with me just shying away from it, me just being stubborn and just thinking, well, you know, I know how to do it and I don't. You know, you find out that you don't. And so uh, now that I figured it out, I've got a lot of buddies in the community that use Badger. And the more you keep seeing it and you talk, you hear everybody talk about how much they love it, you feel like you're missing out. So I revisited it, I figured it out, and um, I'm just a Badger guy. In fact, there's some custom brushes that I have that I'm gonna get re-knotted with Badger knots. And so the only downside is that uh, with today's Badger knots, they are getting quite expensive. Uh, so expensive that they're actually almost the cost of what uh, a custom handle would be. So I used to be able to get a knot, a badger knot, 25 to 45 bucks. 
Um, now they're more standard, about 45, even getting higher, especially your fan type knots, your densely packed knots. Um, so I've got some other cool brushes I wanna show you guys as I start reviewing wider tubs of stuff. Um, I'll feature those in other videos, but you know, these days I'm more of a, more of a custom brush type of guy. And that just comes with time in the community. So the tips on this, the hairs on this, very soft, you know, Thater, if you don't know the history of Thater, they've been around since like 1912 or something. And they're very exquisite brushes. You can't get them in a lot of places. And they're absolutely amazing. And they've got this handle. It's not too complex, but they do it very well. The very shiny coins on the bottom are excellent. They're really famous for their bulb badger knots. Now they've got fan knots, but, um, and I, I'm inclined to pick up a few of those as well. They're not cheap. So again, this was 90 bucks for a boar. And boar is usually some of your cheaper alternatives as far as knots goes. And, um, you know, this is just expensive. That's what you expect. The other one I have from West Coast Shaving being the Abate y la Mantilla, which is a more high-end bore knot with a high-end handle. That one goes for about 55, 65 bucks. So that's getting up there for bore. But again, I find that the hairs are a little more refined. And what I did find too with other bore knots, I used to be really into Samoog and Omega, not so much, but Samoog I was really into. And I put a lot of them up for sale recently. It's not that they're not good brushes. I do like them. I always was a sucker for their acrylic handle line and you know how much I've, I love clear handles and those kinds of things. But I noticed with a lot of their knots, not all of them, that the properties of the soap, once they get into the hairs, you really have to clean some mode quite a bit, probably more than you, you do other knots. And I've seen other people kind of remark about this in the community, but what happens oftentimes is they'll get kind of like this greasy, complex to them like the properties are breaking off into the soap and getting into the hairs and you know what happens when you try to mix water properties or soap with grease you know or try to lather something with grease it just doesn't work that well and not all their knots do that but some do um, and they use similar knots for a lot of their handles and just when I started using this one my Abate y la Mantilla it just blows the performance away from those bore knots and so there's some good ones out there. Um, Jack just reviewed the Owner's Club. The Owner's Club are probably their better knots. They're, um, they go through a specific process. They're more conditioned. They don't have that extra dye to make them look like Badger, and they're good. Those are probably the better Samoog knots. They're good. But again, just as I've advanced, uh, these are the bore knots. I've, so I've narrowed it down to kind of like two bore knots I kept around that I really love, and this is one of them. For some reason, I'm putting a ton of water in this. This soap is super pasty, so I just put a whopping amount of water in right now. There, and that's helping a lot more. This soap was uh, really pasty. And it's probably because I loaded more into it than I originally realized that I did, so. Now I can paint it on there. Now it's coming together. This soap base, uh, I love. It's so creamy. And there's an element of density to it, but creamy lathers are my favorite. I love the way this one comes together. And this, uh, from my understanding, is the same base that Tabak uses for its line of soaps. Well, it's really just got one, but it's the same base as the Tabak base, basically. And it's great. So now I'm getting to that point. I don't have to swirl anymore. I can just paint the water in. It's going to do what I want it to do. And guys, this scent is absolutely terrific. So if you've never smelled fresh vetiver, please do. I find, I don't know, I don't know that fresh vetiver has as many fans as I think it does. I think people are more inclined to favor uh, Italian citrus, or American Blend has a ton of fans. I like American Blend. It's not my favorite one, but I like it. I love the scent on it. It's one of the, the better barbershops out there, in my opinion. Look how creamy this came out. This came out beautifully. This knot works wonders. And again, I get premium lathers. I get the kind of lathers I'm looking for with these types of knots. And so 
there are um, some good synthetics out there. I think West Coast Shaving, for example, is doing a really good job introducing um, different types of synthetics, different types of knots attached to different handles. There's still a place in my heart for synthetics, but these days I'm getting more and more into animal hair. So there's just something luxurious about them. But this came out beautifully. All right. It's 10 minutes in. See, I went back to my old ways, the jibber jabbering. All right, so let's line this baby up. Oh, this is nice. This number two plate is the money for me, coupled with this Gillette Platinum Blade. This is exactly what I needed, a nice, smooth, refreshing shave. And I know that's what I'm gonna get when I put that splash on. It's the ultimate compliment. So, I add more banter into these videos because I've reviewed so many fine soaps. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. And if you wanna know more about Fine's operation, their offerings, you can go back to my first Fine review, which I believe was platinum, and that was probably five or six months ago, maybe longer. But that's the very first video I did on Fine where I get into specific details about all those things I just mentioned. But it is a great soap. I mean, this soap is, I mean, what else can we say in this hobby? I try not to be redundant in these videos, but this is a creamy lather. It's thick, it's rich, it's dense. And it's not dense in a real voluminous way. It does come together, but it's got like an even creaminess to it. But it's so slick and it performs well. It feels good on the face. In fine, they do what they do. They've got creams out now, which I wanna pick up one or two of those for when I do my travels. Fine has new razors to it. The Marvel is their newest razor offering, which I have. The number two plate is money for me. This is to me is even more comfortable. A two on this is even more comfortable for me than the 34C by Mercur. And I didn't think that was possible. That's like my go-to razor when I don't want to think about it. That and my ATT. But it's a super comfortable plate. And that was kind of a dummy too because when I was using this razor, I've had this razor for a couple years now. And I think Rockwell is probably one of the better engineered DE razors that's available today. And it's very unique, it's head shape, everything about it. But what's nice is they originally came out with a $100 razor that's stainless steel. And then subsequent to that, they came out with a chrome and gunmetal version that are half the price, 50 bucks, and every bit is good. So when that came out, I was like, hey, I'm good with that. And I ended up picking up the gunmetal. And for my birthday, recently I got a gift card to Amazon from my folks. And there's a bunch of shave gear on there. So I was gonna pick up the chrome version of it, but I thought that's ah, kind of silly, I already have. It's just gonna be a different color. And um, so I ended up picking up the standard razor, which I'll use in one of my videos coming up. But the standard razor is very good. It's semi-mild. It's not the most aggressive razor you've ever used. In fact, it's, I wouldn't even say it's aggressive. It's more mild. It's more like uh, medium mild. Where like the two plate on this is just straight up mild. So smooth. You don't even feel the blade. And that's my wheelhouse. And there's some guys that, uh, that I see that just love the aggressive plates. And so I think it's cool. I mean, there's, you know, everybody's beard responds to different things. And uh, my beard just likes mild and comfortable. But if you haven't picked up a Rockwell yet, 
it's affordable, it's efficient, and again, it's one of the better engineered designs. I mean, I love it. It can also easily become a go-to razor. At this point in the video, I wanna say I'm loving this shave. When I set out to do a video today, I sat there and thought I need to do something really comfortable. Sort of a spa treatment like shave, and this is doing it. The temperature's perfect, the base is perfect, the razor and blade combination is perfect, and I'm really hoping when I splash this on that it's gonna be the ultimate compliment, the ultimate culmination at the end of the shave. But this is a fantastic shave. I always enjoy my shaves. But once in a while you have that real wow moment with your shave and this is like totally luxurious right now. I'm loving it. This is the part that people that don't do wet shaving don't understand. It was just like them before I got into wet shaving, shaving was just a chore for me. And you folks know that story. So if you have the Rockwell, experiment with the different base plates because they're pretty great. I, I think it's a great system where you can change and customize your experience with the razor to meet um, that, you know, your skin grade, to meet the contours of your face, to meet the aggression that your skin accepts. Some people, I mean, I'm learning different things, you know, just about as they go through this, you know, some folks have really adverse reactions to certain things, and um, I'm grateful and thankful that um, I don't really react adversely to much of anything. My skin's not very sensitive, but I just find that milder shaves are more comfortable for me. There's still a ton of lather in this brush, and that's why I think it was so pasty in the beginning is because I loaded up way more than I figured that I did initially. But this is a fantastic bore knot. And I prefer the undyed. I know they're dyed all, but I like when they don't put the ring around it. I know Samogue does that and Omega does it. And they're still great knots, still great brushes. It's more for aesthetics than anything else. But I love it when it's pure blonde, like you get with the Owner's Club line of those brushes and like you get with this. So this, I think this one's relatively new too. I only learned about it maybe last summer, about a year ago. So maybe I'm late to the game, but I think it's a newer knot by Fader. Uh, the Abate one just happens to be here. I got this from West Coast Shaving. This one, uh, it just happens to be here because I was cleaning knots the other day, but this one is super dense, the way that it's packed, and I love this one too. This is another top performer, another bore brush that will enhance your bore experience. If you're used to just Samoog and Omega, try this one. It's amazing. Even better to me than the Zenith line too. So I like it, and this one I love. This one is not as densely packed, but every bit is good. All right. If any of you are golfers, which I am, I love to golf. There's a saying on the golf course that says, every round of golf, you hit that one shot that brings you back to the course the next time. And so, in other words, um, even if you're not having a great round, you'll hit that one shot that just felt terrific. Uh, you birdied that one hole or whatever it was that just made your day, even though the rest of your round was garbage, it'll bring you back to the course the next day. So this is like that. It's one of those shaves where you know, I'm used to what my average shave is, wet shaving. And again, this one is an exceptional shave. And not only just the feeling I'm getting and the treatment I'm getting, you know, that spa experience, the scent on this is just out of this world. So I would have to say, as far as the hobby goes, 
And you folks know there's so many great scents out there, so many great fragrances. This is probably in my top three as far as fragrances go. That are available, period, all time. I mean, just absolutely fantastic. And every time I use this, I always wonder why I don't use it more. Probably because I have so much stuff. Which I know is a common problem for all of us. All right, cleanup pass, 20 minutes in. Gotta get this done. All right, folks, well. I hope I gave you some useful nuggets in the banter today. Again, I've used fine so many times. I didn't wanna be redundant with my description of them or their product line. Like I said, you can go back to the videos. West Coast Shaving keeps all those archived on the, on the channel, so you can go back to any shaver's video. And what I like now is they're allowing us to, you know, they got such a good program here, and they're allowing us to really, you know, for several of us to review the same product. So before we used to try to kind of, you know, get the product reviewed and there's so many things to review. It's hard to, even with as many shavers as we have on the channel, it's hard to get to everything. And there's so many new things coming out that need to be covered. And what's nice now is they're allowing us to review what's already been reviewed. And what's great about that is you get everybody's uh, perspective on things. And so um, the way I feel about it might be different than somebody else feels about it and vice versa. And they might mention something that I didn't think of or vice versa. So I think it's great. You get a bunch of different perspectives on all the latest and greatest out there and even nostalgic stuff. I love it personally when I, I check the channel every day just to see whose video goes up. I'll watch, I'll try to comment if I'm available to do that. And I think it's great. I love when I see Parasso go up or Tabac or GOF Trumperts or, you know, Taylorville Bond Street or, you know, soap scents that have been around four or five years. And even this stuff, the fine stuff isn't new. It's probably been around three or four years now. There are soaps. But it's classic stuff. You gotta love it. So I love that. I love when I, when I see all the different shavers uh, give their perspectives. And I still do it. I still watch other people's videos. I watch my fellow shavers' videos. I watch, um, I still follow a lot of the old channels that I used to follow, what's available still anyway. And I still enjoy watching shaving videos and I still enjoy getting other people's perspective about stuff. And I get the privilege and the blessing of coming on here with you folks as frequently as I can. And I get a chance to review this. I love doing this. I get a chance to review and talk about these things. I think it's fantastic. I love doing it. I don't have the bandwidth to do a channel, but being in this hobby, I can see why a lot of guys that do have channels have them. It's just so enjoyable. That, ladies and gentlemen, was an absolute great shave. I feel invigorated, it was exhilarating, and it exceeded expectations. Awesome, now for the finishing touch. I implore you guys, get this open splash. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so good. And what's so cool about this too, because I didn't have to be redundant with all the information about Find and it's out there, I was able to really just enjoy the shave and have a conversational video with you folks, which I love. It's me pretending to have open-ended dialogue, so. Anyway, this was great. 
absolutely enjoyed it. So again, Fine Fresh Vetiver, my absolute favorite in the fine line. Terrific soap, terrific splash. Pick it up at West Coast Shaving site. You'll be glad that you did. Thank you guys for joining me as always. We appreciate your support. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.